In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. We celebrate today the memorial of the Immaculate Heart of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Mary pondered these things in her heart, the great mystery of the incarnation, the coming of Christ our Savior. To prepare ourselves to celebrate worthily the sacred mysteries, humbly we acknowledge our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Mil May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who prepared a fit dwelling place for the Holy Spirit in the heart of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Graciously grant that through her intercession we may be a worthy temple of your glory through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Their race will be famous throughout the nations, their descendants throughout the peoples. All who see them will admit that they are a race whom the Lord has blessed. I exult for joy in the Lord, my soul rejoices in my God, for he has clothed me in the garments of salvation. He has wrapped me in the cloak of integrity, like a bridegroom wearing his wreath like a bride adorned in her jewels. For as the earth makes fresh things grow, as a garden makes seeds spring up, so will the Lord make both integrity and praise spring up in the sight of the nations. The word of the Lord. My heart rejoices in the Lord my Savior. My heart exults in the Lord. I find my strength in my God. My mouth laughs at my enemies as I rejoice in your saving help. My heart rejoices in the Lord, my Savior. The bows of the mighty are broken, but the weak are clothed with strength. Those with plenty must labor for bread, but the hungry need work no more. The childless wife has children now, but the fruitful wife bears no more. My heart rejoices in the Lord, my Savior. It is the Lord who gives life and death. He brings men to the grave and back. It is the Lord who gives poverty and riches. He brings men low and raises them on high. My heart rejoices in the Lord, my Savior. He lifts up the lowly from the dust, from the dung heap he raises the poor to set him in the company of princes to give them a glorious throne. My heart rejoices in the Lord my Savior. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Blessed is the Virgin Mary who kept the word of God and pondered it in her heart. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. 
Every year, the parents of Jesus used to go to Jerusalem for the feast of the Passover. When he was 12 years old, they went up for the feast as usual. When they were on their way home after the feast, the boy Jesus stayed behind in Jerusalem without his parents knowing it. They assumed he was with the caravan, and it was only after a day's journey that they went to look for him among their relations and acquaintances. When they failed to find him, they went back to Jerusalem looking for him everywhere. Three days later, they found him in the temple sitting among the doctors, listening to them and asking them questions. And all those who heard him were astounded at his intelligence and his replies. They were overcome when they saw him. And his mother said to him, My child, why have you done this to us? See how worried your father and I have been looking for you. Why were you looking for me? He replied, Did you not know that I must be busy with my father's affairs? But they did not understand what he meant. He then went down with them and came to Nazareth and lived under their authority. His mother stored up all these things in her heart. The Gospel of the Lord. So on this memorial of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, we reflect upon her openness to the Word of God. She was called to be the mother of Christ, and she responded with her yes. There were many things she did not understand, but she pondered upon them in her heart. And in the passage that we heard from today's gospel from Luke, once again, she does not understand what her son is saying when he stays behind and says he's doing his father's business. And yet she ponders upon these things in her heart. She comes face to face with questions, with new steps in the life of Jesus, and ultimately she confronts even his betrayal and death. And she ponders upon these things in her heart. That openness to the will of God, that openness to God's purpose, not comprehending everything, but through an openness of heart, being able to follow the way of the Lord and respond to his call. We reflect also that Mary is the mother of the church. We heard in that opening reading from the prophet Isaiah about the marriage bond between God and his people. And through her faithfulness, through her marriage bond with the Father, she indeed continues to bring God's mercy, God's love through her intercession. She is an image of the church, and she is the mother of the church, continuing to enable us to follow that path of following the way of the Lord, not always understanding what God is asking of us, not fully comprehending why things happen as they do. Questions continue in our hearts, but like her, we are to be open to the word of God, to ponder those mysteries within our hearts, to be open to the way of the Lord. And in that way, we also will continue to fulfill God's will and God's purpose. I'll finish today with a passage from the Liturgy of the Hours, a sermon of St. Lawrence Justinian. And there's a wonderful reflection upon Mary, her openness to the word of God, her openness to search and to find. It was surely fitting that divine wisdom, which had built the house of the church for its abode, should use most holy Mary as its instrument, where the obedience of the law, purification of the heart, the doctrine of humility, and spiritual offering were concerned. Imitate her, O faithful soul. Enter into the temple of your heart that you may be purified in spirit and cleansed of the pollution of your sins. In everything we do, God considers our disposition rather than our actions. And so whether we retire mentally to God in earnest contemplation and remain at rest, 
or whether we are intent of being of service to those around us with good works and worthy undertakings, let our object be that we are motivated only by the love of Christ. So the really acceptable offering of purification of the heart is that which is rendered not in a man-made temple, but in the temple of the heart where Christ the Lord is pleased to enter. We turn to our loving Father and in Jesus Christ, our Lord, bring our prayers. We pray for the church throughout the world that Christians like Mary will ponder the mystery of faith, the mystery of Christ within their hearts. Lord, in your mercy, we pray for peace, that hearts be turned away from violence and conflict and rather seek to rebuild peace and justice. Lord, in your mercy, we pray for all those suffering through illness. We pray for all who care for them, that they continue to extend God's mercy and love to those most in need. Lord, in your mercy, we pray today for the parish of St. Teresa in Darton. We pray for Father Peter and for all the members of that parish that they respond to the will of God as Mary did. Lord, in your mercy. And we commend all who have died to the mercy and forgiveness of God. Lord, in your mercy. And we invoke the prayers of Mary, the Immaculate Virgin, as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Compassionate, loving God, through Christ our Savior, born of the Virgin Mary, we offer this prayer. For he lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look, O Lord, upon the prayers and offerings of your faithful presented in the commemoration of Blessed Mary, the Mother of God, that they may be pleasing to you and may confer on us your help and forgiveness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the memorial of the Blessed Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty. Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Ralph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days 
that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Having been made partakers of eternal redemption, we pray, O Lord, that we who commemorate the mother of your Son may glory in the fullness of your grace and experience its continued increase for our salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, 
may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen.